But I think that in management, very much the same ideas that I have just tried to explain in terms of education are equally important. Because if you're running uh, an industry and you have uh, 100 workmen who are supposed to do certain things, it is much more efficient if they begin to understand what they're doing rather than if they just follow orders. And in the same vein that if the workmen, I think the Japanese have uh, discovered that very early on, that if they're doing something all day long, they sometimes have very good ideas about how it should be done, <laughs> so that are better than the ideas that are, have been designed before. So it's important that you have an exchange between what the workmen think and what you as the manager thinks. Sort of opening up of, of uh, channels of conversation. And that brings with it a, a different attitude in, in the whole, in the, in the industry or the factory or whatever it is you're running. But as I say, I know nothing about the details. Okay. And you were going to ask me also about therapy, therapy and... Uh, well, I, I am not involved in that, and I would not like to meddle in, with what therapists are doing. The only thing to that extent I can say that I think radical constructivism to the ordinary person could be a kind of therapy, because if they begin to think in a constructivist fashion, they will find that many things in their lives become easier and certainly more agreeable. and. Uh, one of the reasons is that once you really get into constructivist thinking, you realize that you don't have to be right. You don't have to convince people that your way is the best way. If it works for you, that's perfectly good enough. And that saves an awful lot of energy. If you go to any party or any place where people conversationally interact with, with each other, you will find that half the energy is spent in trying to convince the other that you have the right idea. And that's a waste of effort. So as a constructivist, you, you can relax. If they ask you, you can answer their questions. But if they don't ask you, well, it's their business.